Ryan, welcome to uh, Doncaster Rovers. Talk about a bit of your background and, and how you've ended up here. So I've been in analysis for about eight years now. Did two years as an intern unpaid at Scunthorpe when there was another analyst in post in League One. I was in League One for five years, League Two for three years. So experienced different levels, a couple of playoff campaigns, which didn't go very well. Then a couple of relegations, one this season, obviously. But been a good experience. Worked with about 10 managers, numbers of coaches, staff, players. Uh, Learn different ways of working under each one. Each one's got different traits, what they expect. But yeah, very good experiences. So yeah, a, a wide range of experiences. Uh, different managers will obviously bring, you know, different what different things that they want from from you and, uh, as an analyst. Absolutely, yeah. Get yeah, some which they didn't really have analysis when they were first starting out in their jobs and they've developed into the role. Whereas some of the more modern day coaches, they expect more want different things, more statistical things. Then you're just trying to adapt yourself to be the best person you can be for them. You're yeah, obviously going to be heading into League Two with Doncaster this season. You've got that bit of experience in, in that division as well and, and I'm sure you'll feel that you, you've you got to grips with it and, and, and know all about it. Absolutely, yeah. It's not too much different to League One. Obviously, the quality's a bit less, but it's a very even league usually. Anybody can beat anybody, different ways of playing. There are still teams that will play football, some very good quality, and there's other teams that will mix it up. But I'm excited this season. I think the club's shown a lot of ambition with the players trying to recruit, the contracts they've handed out already and the players that are still here. So, very excited. I was going to say, what do you make to, to the, the staff force that you've come into? You've had a couple of weeks to, to get to know people and, and kind of get a grip of what they're going to ask from you. Oh, it's brilliant. The staff have been unbelievable. I've just got James, head of football. He's so enthusiastic about the club. He's so passionate. Same with the manager. They just want the best for Doncaster and Doncaster Rovers. Obviously, it's fairly new staff new staff members coming in in the next week or so and we've all got the same ambition to get promotion and that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to come here and so what's it like you're coming into a, as you say a fairly new group you know there's there's different people here the, some perhaps have been in different roles or new people coming on board what's that like is that does that make it easier for you to to come into the uh, into the club yeah a little bit they'll be very welcoming mm. and what's been best for me is I've just been thrown straight into it given tasks to do different roles to do and a lot of responsibility to say I've only been in the job three, four weeks and everyone's been very welcoming. What is it that you're getting to grips with, uh, getting your teeth into, sorry, at, at this stage? You know, we're in pre-season, what, what in particular things are, are you looking at at the moment? Well, firstly, it's just creating presentations, preparing them for the players coming back in the next couple of weeks, what the manager expects, the playing philosophy, what the assistant manager, Steve, once from the players as a group, as an individual, and just trying to get the best out of each individual player. And then, what will it? How will it sort of develop from from there once the players are back in? So we'll have a couple of initial meetings in the first week or so, introducing ourselves, what we want to do, the way that we want to play, what's expected of each player, and then the tactical stuff will come, the playing style, playing philosophy, and then from that, from myself in pre season. I'd be looking at the opposition, looking at ourselves to see if we're matching then metrics that we're trying to reach for the performance. You're looking forward then to, to really getting your teeth into it? As, I can't as wait, yeah. yeah. I can't wait. Absolutely buzzing, yeah. Mainly because the ambition of the club matches my own, which I've really felt straight away and I do believe that we can have a really, really good season.